Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lupita and I do way too many project pins. If you're into those type of videos, keep watching. I just wanna be happy, happy Today is the first update for the Deck of Pan project pan. This was a project created by Emily. I'll have her link down below. She's known as Emily and Max here on YouTube and on Instagram. I'll also have the original creator that this project was inspired from linked down below. If you watched my other videos, you already know why this is called Deck of Panning. This project has a game board that Emily puts together. Let me show you guys a picture. Hopefully you can see that. This game board gets shuffled before each update and we use a deck of cards. I have mine here. It's just typical deck of cards and we randomly pull a card and whatever's on the card decides what prompts we're getting on the game board and what products we'll be using. It's really fun. I really like this project, especially since Roulette Pan is no longer being done for the time being because the creators are busy right now, so they're taking a break from this project. So I'm so happy that Emily is allowing so many people to join in in this fun project that she created. I'm going to go ahead and update you guys in the order that I pulled them and then, and then I'll show you guys the new pulls. So first off, I pulled the King, which in the last game board was the oldest product that I had. Actually, if I remember correctly, the King, Queen, Jack, and the Ace do not change and neither does, neither does the Joker. Those prompts stay the same, but all the other prompts are changing. So for the King, the oldest product, I picked an Avon lipstick in the shade Fig. I've only used this one six times. I had a bowl. If I could open it properly, the packaging itself is old and it's falling apart. I'm pretty sure it's... And that's how it should be opening. This is the lipstick in the shade Fig. It's really pretty brown. I really love browns, so I thought this would be the perfect one to pick for this. So my goal was 30 uses. I have not met that one yet, so that's going to stay in the project. Hopefully I will meet that goal in the coming months. The second product I had pulled was the Six of Clubs, which was Summer. So for that I had picked out the Butter Bronzer this one here my goal was to use it 15 times i used it 10 times so five more uses i'll likely reach that goal by next update i did expand the pan here i want to show you guys so i have two little pans going on in this one this was a bronzer that was already panned i just want to get some more use out of it so going to aim to reach that for next update. The third product that I had was the Eight of Diamonds. This was a skincare item. I had picked the I had picked the Dr. Dennis Gross Hyaluronic Marine Do It Right Eye Gel for my skincare item. This weighs 0.16 ounces. My goal is to finish it I've only used it 10 times. It has gone up a little bit, but not much. I do tend to forget to use my eye creams, which I mentioned in the first introduction video that I tend to just use my Curology acne treatment and I forget to use my other things at night. The fourth item was the Queen of Diamonds. So for the any queen, it was that we used a random color generator. I still have a picture of the color I rolled here. 
if I can find it. Here it is. So this was the color I had rolled and I had picked a lip oil from Ulta in a mauve shade. It's funny, I'm having trouble finding it and I just used it. Here it is. This one here. My goal was to use it 10 times and I did reach those 10 times when I did my makeup for this video. I actually used this one and then just like a clear sheer lip, lip gloss from Ulta as well on top. So I'll be rolling this one out. So I'm actually gonna move it to the side so I don't stick it back into my little container where I keep it's one of those rolling organizers and I just keep all the project pans and all my current skincare and my shop my stash items on there. So don't want to put that back in. Next for the six of diamonds, it was winter. So I went with the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blush in most sunrise. I picked this one because I really think it looks beautiful in winter. really pretty also using this one today i had a goal to use it 10 times i reached that goal so this one will also be going back into my little storage container here and i'll be pulling up two new cards seven of hearts seven of spades i'll try to zoom in so you guys can see that better Let's see here, the Seven of Hearts, let me zoom in a bit, Seven of Hearts is a primer and the Seven of Spades, right? Seven of Spades, yeah, the Seven of Spades is an influencer or an influencer collab or brand. I have quite a few of those, so I will pick those and be right back with you guys. Okay, so for the primer, I went with the No Problem Primer from Touch In Soul. It's this one here. I've actually had this one in a project pan before I had a little mark on it, but I'm gonna do a usage goal for this one. I want to use it 20 times. I do have some other primers that are currently in other project pans like the Smashbox Photo Finish Oil Shine Control Primer. This is a little sample and then the Professional Pearl Primer from Benefit, also a little sample. But I need something for my huge pores. And I'm constantly having to reach back in in case I didn't grab one already for in my shop my stash I have to dig into my drawer so so this one's gonna work out just fine for me I think 20 uses is a good goal to have and since I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna reach the butter bronzer by next update that means I'll have a new product to roll in and I can still get a bit more use out of this one without feeling too much pressure. I know I'll definitely be using this one every time I do my makeup, whereas the other ones I kind of alternate which ones I use when I do my makeup, so they're taking a bit longer to reach my goals for those. Then for the Seven of Spades, which is an influencer collab or brand product, I went with the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. I think it will work well with the current eyeshadows that I have in my other project pans right now. These ones are a lot more, there's a lot more neutrals which I'm running out of in my current eyeshadows from the project pans. There's not a lot of them. So like Lynn 1985 back, my even Honest Truth will work really well for my transition shades. And there are some more vibrant greens that I wish were in the palettes that I have right now and then the, the pinks that I'm just dying for to have 
that I'm constantly reaching for other palettes to grab because pinks just happen to be more of my go-to colors. Now it's easier for me as an everyday look just to go with pinks whereas browns I not so motivated by so I hope this one will help me be more motivated to do my makeup more often and reach all these goals and actually use my products a lot more and get better use out of it. So I'm gonna make it a goal to try to use to try to hit 30 times in any shade. I picked the number 30 because I am kind of curious to see how long it will take to hit pan in one of these eyeshadows. I don't think I've seen anyone use this um, Morphe palette in any other project pan, so really curious to see how long it will take. So that's it for my update. Thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in joining, feel free to look at the description box. All the information will be down below along with Emily's channel and any other information. You can ask Emily in any of her videos or message her on Instagram. She replies pretty quickly. I apologize for the mess that is my hair today. I am having a lazy day where I didn't feel like actually doing my hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in watching more project panning videos or even tutorials or some other fun makeup related stuff, please check out my channel. Make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe before I leave. See you guys soon. They all see that it's a lie